look into my eyes and I will freeze you and steal. <laughs> I will steal your front end loader. <laughs> People of Earth, we come in peace. We come in peace. We are bearers of gnomes. We give birth to little ones with beards. There are no female gnomes, only male gnomes. No, that's not true. That's not true. People of Earth, we come in peace. We come in peace. We are the bearer of gnomes. And, and we are here to enlighten you of the little one's lives and to show you the way to Bigfoot and Loch Ness Monster. Come to us on our alien crafts and let us probe you. Take me to your leader. Take me to your leader. Hey there, everybody. P.T. Pop here with all four lobes of my brain. Secured away and bound in an alien spacecraft. Today, I'm going to talk about the recent news story from about two weeks ago. And there's allegedly was like a fireball seen over the New Mexican New Mexico sky. And a guy claims that there were eight foot tall aliens in his yard, non humans, he said. They're not human. And I find this all very curious and interesting, and I think it's kind of funny that this is coming out now. And I wonder, well, so why are they showing this to us now? Why is this coming out now? Doesn't anybody else find it kind of curious that all of a sudden the world is saturated with alien encounters? I mean, it strikes me as a bit bizarre. But hey, you know... (laughs) Maybe they're real, I don't know. But I find this fascinating because when I was a little kid, my friend Terry and I, I was 10 years old, he was 11. And the two of us would sit in the courtyard of our apartment building late at night. And we'd go out with his telescope and my mother's binoculars and we would search the sky for aliens. We'd search the sky for flying saucers and UFOs, you know. And we had we had just seen, you know, the the original War of the Worlds. I'm sorry, not the yeah. We'd seen the original War of the Worlds from like 1966. We had seen the original The Day the Earth Stood Still, and we had rented not rented, but you, you know, we got a record, a vinyl LP, out of the library of the original broadcast of War of the Worlds, narrated by Orson Welles, and we were f- fascinated with aliens. <clears throat> And we were convinced if we sat outside long enough, kind of like, you know, Linus searching, waiting up late at night in the cold, cold night looking for the great pumpkin, we sat out there looking for aliens. And back then, nobody talked about aliens. I mean, there were only three TV stations and nobody talked about this stuff. And if you did, they just laughed at you. You know, it wasn't taken seriously. And there were a few people that talked about it. You know, like Leonard Nimoy talked about it on the TV show In Search Of. And maybe Ripley's Believe It or Not and things like that. But there wasn't any talk really of aliens other than the occasional story once in a blue moon in in the back of a newspaper or or a tabloid somewhere. So recently there was this um, story from, I believe it's New Mexico, no, Las Vegas in Las Vegas. Witness details alleged alien encounter in Las Vegas. And, you know, this this kid calls in and says, there's there's a huge eight-foot-tall aliens or non-human creatures in my backyard. And I say, they're 100% not human. So what I wanted to do is review this. Because I do find it awfully curious that now, all of a sudden, the news media is covering everything and anything they can get their hands on other than Joe Biden and his, and his uh, crackhead son, um, is it Bo? And it's not Bo Biden. Bo Biden's the guy that I think he killed himself. Um, Hunter, Hunter Biden and Joe Biden, Hunter. So I'm going to start off with this. This is a local news station out of Las, uh, out of Las Vegas. And here we go. Oh, look at that. Artificial intelligence, they use that to create the flying saucer. So they've got the two very serious news-looking news anchors, one with like a, looks like a leather top with a diagonal zipper, and she's she's taking off her glasses because she means business people. And look at him in his smart suit and his nicely uh, styled hair. Southern Nevada is abuzz tonight with storm. 
They're a buzz. Stories about the crash of an unknown object and the alleged sighting of strange creatures in the backyard of a Northwest Valley home. So it was last night that 8 News Now. Notice her hand gestures. It was last night. She's very serious. She's pointing down where she's keeping you focused on her. It's... Investigator David Charns reported about how Metro Police responded back on May 1st after receiving a strange call from a very frightened family. Well, our report generated a global response, and now piecing together the sequence of events has been kind of tricky, in part because the primary witnesses have been almost as elusive as the beings they say they encountered. Chief Investigator George Knapp is as perplexed. Chief Investigator George Knapp. Sounds like you should be the owner of a winery or something. Hi, I'm George Knapp, owner of Knapp Winery. Come get sauced with me. Flex as the rest of us, George. Look at this guy. Where, you know, he, would they keep him in a closet or something? Come on, get the toupee on there, Bob. Get the tie, get the coat. What is his name? As you know, this is not our first UFO rodeo. George, we sorry. first heard about the incident in early May via the Metro Police grapevine. The incident has a lot in common with other bizarre cases from around the world, an alleged crash, strange beings, and bits and pieces that don't make sense. But the police took this seriously, and so do we. Well, the police took it seriously. So these poor police officers, and if you've ever lived, I live in Phoenix, and if you've ever been to Las Vegas or Phoenix, it's very busy cities. And they have very serious crime going on there. They have trafficking. They have human trafficking. They have murders, rapes, just out, out the wazoo out there. So, so they get a call from some schmuck who claims there's an alien in his backyard. Hey, God, God bless these police officers. Just before midnight on April 30th, sky watchers across several western states saw... Sky watchers. So there must be people that live in the southwest that watch the skies constantly looking for ufos i'm, I'm pretty sure that's what they are because i i've been a big fan of like george nori and art bell and stuff for years and uh, there's people that would call into his show and say art the other night i saw what looked like a flying saucer going over my house a bright fireball streaked through the heavens a police officer working in the northwest valley caught a glimpse of the colorful object on his body cam at nearly the same time a ring camera in the area recorded a strange noise and what sounds like a crash one f now if that's not that that boom sounds like something you take right out of a stock audio library doesn't it it sounds like something they just manufactured i i don't know family living in a ranch style home had a much closer view of the object so what is this aerial view here this is you know i like to try to analyze these things because we don't know what is this town is this the actual town is this the actual neighborhood two brothers and their father were working on a vehicle in their yard when they caught a glimpse there's there's call letters up here like for an airport or some lfe 100 1004 Huh. LFE, huh? It's probably a, a, a heliport pad or something, or something for the airports, I would think. Why would you have numbers and letters like that on the roof of a building unless it's for the airplanes or a helicopter? Glimpse of a sparkly object as it came crashing down, Darkly. then were hit by what they describe as a shockwave. One of the witnesses, a young man named Angel, has stated when the brothers looked into the yard where the object when I tried to look at the object, it was all blurry. Not my vision, just the backyard area. Object landed, that spot was obscured and blurry, as if by unknown form of camouflage. As if by some unknown form of intoxicant that I inhaled. I mean, oh, it was, it was camouflage, the aliens were. Hey, Bill, have you had any more of that stuff in the bottle that I was inhaling? Okay, but I saw aliens, yes. What they saw next prompted a frantic call to 911. So there's does this guy sound frantic? Listen, does he sound frantic? Two people or two subjects that are in your backyard? Correct, and they're very large. No, okay, uh, this guy does not sound frantic, number one. Number two, if me or you saw an eight foot tall being in our backyard that we knew was not human, we'd be like, fuck, there's an alien in our backyard, man, get out of here quick with all your guns. That's frantic. Oh my God. Oh my God. My dog's going crazy. My wife's losing her mind. They're like eight foot. 
They're like eight foot. He's had too much tequila. I'm sorry, too much cactus juice for this young man. Nine feet, ten foot. I don't know. They're... Eight foot, nine feet, ten feet. That's a that's a pretty big, pretty big difference. Eight, nine, ten foot. You know, you know, LeBron James is almost seven feet tall, and and that center for the Nuggets is seven one or something. And they're massive. If you had saw a creature nine, ten, ten feet in your backyard, that's massive. You'd be like, I don't know. Just ten, nine, ten feet, whatever, dude. Just get some police out here. <laughs> they look like they look like aliens to us. They look like aliens to us. This is such bullshit. I mean, they look like aliens to you. And what do they look like? They're they're just eight, nine, seven, eight, nine, ten feet tall. What what do aliens look like? We don't know because we've never seen a real picture of one, other than those fake autopsy ones from like a, somebody's, you know made it with a Kodak 8mm camera in their, in their garage. You know, we don't know what aliens really look like. So how does he know what they look like? Big eyes. They have big eyes. Oh, like, okay. like, I can't explain it. And big a mouth. And a big a mouth. Well, look, if this, if this is what an alien really looks like. Right? Yeah, little mouth, little teen mouth, and big eyes. And they love gnomes. This will take the place of Oingo Boingo, my friends. I don't know. He's pretty cute, isn't he? They're shiny eyes and... And they're not human. They're 100% they're not human. This guy doesn't sound frantic. This guy sounds like he's trying to get somebody to come out from the news station to make him famous. 8 News Now investigators have spoken... Oh, this is 8 News, by the way, out of Las Vegas. Who did he speak to? Spoken with family members multiple times in the past four weeks, but each of the three times we accepted their invitation to do an interview, they didn't answer the door or the... Surprise! They didn't show up for the interview. They didn't answer the door. Because they're full of papoopies. That's why. Their phone. These are some of the claims they've made in other public forums. Multiple family members backed up the story in an initial police report we obtained. Angel says they heard the patter of multiple feet in the yard. The patter of feet in the yard. Come on, people. Look at that yard. If that's supposed to be their yard, it's, it's all sand. It's sand. I mean, how would you patter on sand? You know, I don't know. So, so, okay. We'll they later heard footsteps on their roof. They saw one of the eight-foot-tall creatures. Well, they probably saw the landing, the call letters here for LFE. 1009 and thought it was probably home base and they tried to land on the roof. Look, there's probably a little landing strip nearby. So they, so, so this, these people just got so lucky, unlucky that this, this, okay, so, so this craft had allegedly exploded through our atmosphere, making a detonation so loud that it sent shock waves that people could feel miles away. Just somehow these aliens ended up in their yard when this thing landed somewhere else. How did they get there? Did they take a bus? Did they take an Uber? Did they have a little craft that they flew, a little jet ski in the, uh, in the sky, and they dropped down on their roof? I, none of this makes any sense. I know they teleported. Behind the controls of a large front loader stored in the yard, as if... <laughs> then they tried to run, operate a front loader. One of the eight-foot-tall creatures climbed behind the controls of a large front loader stored in the yard, as if trying to engage it. He got it doesn't make any sense. What would a bunch of aliens from another planet have a need for a front end loader? Were they going to drive it away and go pick up their crashed spacecraft and, I don't know, dig it out of a hole or dig it out of a ditch or something? I mean, why would they have any knowledge of a front end loader or what know what to do with it? Or what its purpose serves us down here? It makes no sense that if he's 8, 9, 10 feet tall, I mean, the cockpit to a front end loader is not that big. I've seen guys my size, you know, maybe six six one in there, and you know, they look like it's a pretty it's a pretty tight compartment. How is a ten foot being going to get in there and try to operate a front end loader? Had a good look at one of the creatures. He said a greenish grayish being with large eyes and long legs. He says he could hear its deep breaths, and when he locked eyes, he was in essence frozen in place, couldn't move. In the middle. of... He was frozen in place because he was having a bad trip on peyote is what happened. And he's trying to make some money off of it so he can get another fix. 
What else they got in the yard there? This is quite a nice yard there. Nice. Yeah, they've got RVs. They got front end loaders. Crashed, then vanished. A circular impression was left in the soil. Now, the circular impression I saw on another newscast like a week after this story, that satellite images of that yard show those circular images like six months ago. So they've been there for a long time. Okay, hey, where is this on your property? Metro sources say the police oh, dispatcher okay. initially wondered whether to send a crisis intervention team to help the troubled witness, but then took the incident seriously. Two officers arrived 38 minutes after the call, and by then it heard from other officers. 38 minutes. I'm surprised they showed up at all. I mean, this would not be this. Like here in Cleveland, I think in most police, police precincts and police stations, they have code one, which is like a shooting or a murder. Code two is potential shooting and murder. Code three is like a traffic accident. Code four is like, you know, code three is like two and three are like domestic incidences. And four is like, there's a raccoon in my attic. This, this is right up there with a code four. There's a raccoon in my attic. These guys have much more th important things to do than look for aliens to stealing front end loaders. They proceeded cautiously. So, so g let me let me ask you this. So, we're in the year 2023, and every single person in the world, every almost every person, I bet you there's 200. Like, I don't know how many people are in the world? What are there like 10 billion people in the world? And there's probably six billion of these. Like everybody has one of these now. Why does I want to do a software update? Everybody has one of these now. So you're trying to tell me that this kid who's terrified, who's horrified, who's got an eight, six, seven, eight, nine, ten foot being in his backyard trying to steal a front end loader, and other ones are walking on his roof, nobody in his family or himself could pull this out and take a picture of the fine, fine creature. No one could do it. No one. They were frozen. They're frozen because of the. The big eyes of the alien froze them and, and raised their brains. I mean, come on, guys. If all of these reports are around the world all day long, no one has pictures. No one has legitimate pictures other than gun camera footage from an F-18 off of an aircraft carrier or something bullshit like that. and managed some nervous laughs. I ain't dealing with that. <laughs> a few days later, the family says, two Metro sergeants returned to the scene to ask follow-up questions. The family says they also saw men in suits and sunglasses driving in a car with government plates cruising slowly past the house in the following days. Nellis and Creech have denied any interest or involvement with the incident. Metro has indicated they believe the family that something crashed in their yard. But what? Come on. If something crashed in your yard, there'd be evidence of a crash. The same with the plane that land, crashed landed in Shanksville during 9-11. I mean, there's no, there's no remnants of a plane there. There's no plane parts. How, how did a plane crash in Shanksville and not leave an engine or a tire or anything? There was just this weird V-shaped hole in the ground. You mean that the plane just went into the ground, just like all the other planes went into the building and disappeared? This is such bullshit. There'd be, there'd be spacecraft parts. Where's, the, where's, if it crashed in your yard, why isn't there evidence of a crash? Why isn't there evidence of a spaceship? Why aren't there parts of the spaceship? Why aren't there any photographs or audio recordings of these creatures? No, you mentioned George. <laughs> I think there's an alien on this man's head, and it's eating his brain. George, in that piece that, you know, they were frozen. because The silver alien, the silver alien, the cotton top alien that only preys upon the elderly newscaster and politician. So many people have been critical of like... See, now they've moved him in, her over, and the other guys out. Why didn't get their phone out? Why didn't they shoot the video? Do we know if there's even any video of this incident? Uh, uh, yes and no. So there's a surveillance camera in the backyard. The property owner keeps that because he's like got a lot of expensive equipment there. What we were told is that at the moment this thing comes down and crashes, now, I bet you, I bet you any amount of money, this guy that owns all that expensive equipment in this economy, he's hurting for money. And he's probably up to his ass in debt. And he said, hey, Pedro, go out, tell them you saw creatures. Get me another tequila. We've got to make some way to make money to bring me into the black. Pedro, go get me some tequila and take, go out there and make stories about these big aliens. We're not going to be here much longer. I'm going to have to file bankruptcy. Do something quick, Pedro.
crash, this camera went out and it was out for a couple of minutes. When it came back on, uh -huh. the object was gone, but the circle was there. We've been told sure, by Angel sure, the it camera went out, down huh? and crash. This camera went out and it was out. It went out. Just just coincidence, just by chance. That camera just happened to go out the minute this this alien craft crash releasing eight. You know how big a craft would have to be to hold several eight to ten, eight, nine, ten foot tall beings? It'd be a pretty big craft, and there's there's no sign of it, and it just happened to knock out their one and only security camera. For a couple of minutes, when it came back on, the object was gone, but the circle was there. We've been told by Angel in multiple phone conversations that he shot video ah. of the creatures. We haven't seen it, and we don't know anybody else who's seen it yet, so maybe he'll release it at some point. There is no video of these creatures. There is none. This is the only creature in this video. What should we name him? Should we name him, let's see, we should name him Pedro, Pedro the alien. I don't know, man. This is all so weird. And they're talking about this all the time. But think about what they're trying to distract you from. Right now, in this country, you've got President Trump that they're trying to send to prison for 400 years. They've got President Joe Biden and his son Hunter that have been uh, blackmailing and strong-arming Chinese businessmen for $5 million extorting money from them we have a current president my current president and his son are crooked the current president is senile old feeble he's a joke to the world he can't even walk across the stage of falling over he can't ride a bike we've got a country where our where our deficit is in the trillions and trillions of dollars you know people are getting mad on the street they're fighting each other in the grocery stores over grapefruit and, and hamburgers and fast food places so they're just trying to distract everybody from the truth that our country is dying. Our country is, is taking its last breaths as you watch it, as you watch me, and they don't want anybody to know about it. Um, I don't know what they're trying to distract us from, honestly. I'm not certain what's going on out there, but these two didn't tell us anything. There's no video. There's no proof that this ever happened. And didn't Pedro or whoever the guy was that was so scared... He was frozen, and he couldn't do anything because the alien gave him some, some type of ice stare that froze him. So how did he take video of it? He says he could hear its deep breaths, and when he locked eyes, he was, in essence, frozen in place, couldn't move. In the middle of the yard where the... He was frozen, see? Locked eyes, look into my eyes, I will freeze you. I have the ability to freeze weak earthly humans. <laughs> look into my eyes. Look into my eyes and I will freeze you and steal. <laughs> I will steal your front end loader. <laughs> what a horse, bunch of horse crap, my friends. Well, I'm PT Pop and uh, watch out for aliens, people. Will you? I'll be the same, baby.